I'm standing at the right hand elevation uh, and I'm looking up towards the secondary drain line for a AC unit and it's running so we have a blocked primary drain on the AC unit itself I'm standing at the front right elevation and we have a small hole in the corking uh, that needs to be resealed and uh, the windows around the house, all the windows around the house uh, should be uh, inspected by the guy coming out to cork and fill any holes like that I want dampness, the other thing I don't want is insects getting in uh, up here on the uh, right of the portico on the inside there's a crack opening up that needs to be filled, sealed uh, prevent pests intruding into the building or dampness getting him to the wall. Standing at the front left elevation, and we've got a little bit of movement in the brick there. I'm not too concerned about it, just needs to report anything. But also, the corking has moved around the window there, and that needs to be recorked. I'm standing at the uh, left elevation side and here the corking is missing from the expansion gap that must be filled. Standing at the left hand elevation we're looking at the uh, roof and just below the downpipe for the gutter there's a trim board leading down to the soffit and between the trim board and the shingles a hole has opened up, the cork has shrunk away that needs to be filled to prevent water getting in I'm in the master bedroom, shower and we have cracks in the corking in the corner of the shower running down, they need to be patched. We're in the bathroom and the cabinet's separating from the wall in this area here. What the trip it was just in the, we're in the master bathroom and the fans making an awful lot of noise and the longer it runs the noisier it gets so I recommend that we're in a guest bathroom on the upper floor and in the corner is a slight crack that's appearing in the grout now that crack actually varies with the seasons I recommend some silicon sealant is used down the crack here just to seal it, that will stop water getting in because there's no room to put more ground. This is the door to the media room and this is the air gap that allows the air to return. It comes in here and then goes to the return somewhere else. The problem with it is it's not big enough and also it's in the wrong place, it's right at the bottom and the air that the system is trying to push out is hot air, not cold air. And cold air would come out here because cold air is heavier than hot. Mm. Now as a result of that, the best place for it for a, uh, a return would be over the top of the door and you simply uh, cut um, a square hole up there just a bit smaller than the vent to cover the grill and you put the grill over this side and that side and that gives you a return and then on the uh, report I'll put that in there for you okay. with an illustration of what I mean okay. so here it, it, you don't have to have it white you can have it red, uh, red. you can have it the same color mm -hmm. they've left those white but you could leave it white it's up to you mm -hmm. but that over the top would give you a much better return to doing it okay. the other thing too is you can also say to them i want you to come and balance this because you mentioned that your bar bedroom mm -hmm. is a little hot mm -hmm. and this room is a little hot well, we're at the extremity now, your, your master bedroom mm -hmm. and this room are at the extremity of where the air conditioning unit in. The units are in the middle of the house, just over the back here. Because mm -hmm. I know from my notes last year where they are. Right. And, and that, is, that is one of the things that can be done. You are asked for balance. So I'll just put in the report, uh, balance system.
This is the second master uh, bathroom on the second floor and again we've got fading grout in the corner on both ends of the bath. This is AC number one and we have a running secondary drain. You can see it's actually dripping from the primary drain. This indicates that the secondary primary drain is blocked. Yeah, there's no water running up there. There's a blockage in here. I recommend that that is serviced. Likewise, this other unit over here is serviced. I have to report to you that there are one or two webs that are highly suspicious be looking like brown recluse I don't know whether you've had a treatment but I highly recommend you have a treatment for those types of creatures now we're in the attic and I'm standing next to the uh, furnace number two and AC number two and right above us we have a vent and below us we have water penetration here it is water's been coming in it's discolored the uh, insulation and over time that's going to get into the house I can't see exactly where it's coming it's dry now so it's not even worth looking at it with an infrared camera because it won't show anything but I suspect the water leak is coming from around this area above let's go back here so here's the furnace okay this is furnace number two now we come round and we look up on the roof we can see there you can see a vent and then if we look at the insulation you can see it's all discolored this is classical water penetration This is the oven and the oven door is sticking. See as it tried to open it, it doesn't open properly. It's also it's also not sealing properly. We've got hot air coming out. Yeah, we've got a lot of hot air coming out. Yeah, in this corner here, complete break in the seal, 146. Down here, 146, so it's leaking a lot of heat. The doors need to be fixing. The temperature inside the oven is 344, 351. Um, but now I can explain why you can only get it to work properly on convection. We're at the kitchen sink and there's a couple of holes opened up in the grout between the surfaces and the uh, tile. It needs to be regrouted and resealed uh, the entire length I would recommend. 